Hello pilots, this is Ascendance here from 4FS Gaming, and I first would like to apologise for how long it has taken to get out another Titanfall 2 video. We have been very busy with other content, so please go and check some of that out, but we are now back on track with another Tactical Kit Advanced Guide, and today we're going to look at Cloak. Now personally, I'm not a big Cloak fan, I think it has some utility, but doesn't achieve anything super special. Anyway, let's get stuck right in. Cloak will make you semi-transparent for a full 15 seconds. In this state, you can still be seen by pilot. However, it will be much harder to distinguish you from the background environment. Human pilots in Titans will also be able to see the shimmer of your cloak if they are observant. Activating your jump pack by double jumping, sliding, wall running or hovering will make you easier to see as your jets still flare. You are also completely invisible to all AI, even anti-pilot turrets. While cloaked, you may do any action except for shooting. You can throw ordnance, melee, execute, but as soon as you shoot, the cloak effect will immediately end. Enemy sonar knives and map hacks will reveal your position during cloak as normal, but they will not cancel the cloak effect, so you will remain invisible to enemy bots and AI. The cloak ability has a cooldown of 20 seconds, or 15 seconds if you use the Power Cell Pilot Kit. So that is all of the specifics of what cloak does, so how do we use it to the best of effect? The first thing that you have to understand is that cloak does not let you get out of sticky situations. It's not a get out of jail free card. You cannot just activate it in a panic, but you have to use it to hunt and kill your prey as an initiator when you begin an engagement. To do this, speed and elevation are really useful. Just because you are cloaked doesn't mean it's safe to run through doors and be predictable. Activate cloak, use good movement skills, kill your target, and then quickly get out of the hot zone. If you can, killing with a melee attack is preferable, as you can then move again under the cover of your continued cloak effect. Using cloak like this works well with SMGs and shotguns, but really any weapon can synergize with this tactical ability, as long as you can use it to capitalize on your element of surprise. Cloak is also excellent at keeping you alive after ejecting from your Titan, as a cloaked pilot is very difficult to spot and hit in the air. In the same respect, using cloak to rodeo is very helpful as it is unlikely other enemy pilots and titans will spot and shoot you if they do not have good lines of communication. Interestingly, the visual effects of Cloak itself are most effective when you are standing still. Although I don't advocate for this playstyle, synergizing Cloak and sniper weapons does give you an advantage when well positioned, as you will likely not be seen before you can take your shot. Granted, you still have to then hit your shot or all of that advantage is lost. Now I do however have some criticisms of the cloak ability. The first is that it does nothing to aid your mobility or protect you like phase shift, grapple or stim. It also doesn't have a tactical benefit for your team, like a wall or sonar blade. Instead you have to have excellent movement and gun skill to back up your cloak plays. My biggest issue is that pilots can still see you. It may be harder to see you when you're cloaked, but it is still pretty damn easy to spot, shoot and kill even a moving cloaked target. Often, it just comes down to pure luck whether or not you succeed with this tactical. It doesn't actually provide a solid and reliable ability worthy of that tactical slot. Sometimes you won't get shot while cloaked, and that's about it. I hope that if you do love using cloak, this guide has shown you some more about how to work with the ability and capitalize on its strengths. And if you don't use Cloak, you really aren't missing out on too much, but give it a shot all the same. I'm sure that some of you will disagree with some of my opinions on this topic. If so, please feel free to join the open discussion in the comments below. I want to hear everything that you have to say. Thanks for watching guys, please like and subscribe and check out our Twitch channel link in the description below for some of our live streams.